But as far as we understand it, a British man was arrested yesterday in Berlin by the German authorities after the German uh, public prosecutor, in conglomeration with the Metropolitan Police, had been conducting an invest investigation into a man who has allegedly been selling classified documents to the Russian secret services. This is someone who was working in the British Embassy. The statement from the German public prosecutor says that he was an employee of the British Embassy. The Metropolitan Police are saying he he was contracted to work in the British Embassy. Either way, he was working in the British Embassy. He was able to see some classified documents, and the Germans say that he sold them to the Russian secret services. It's an enormous story, and one that really uh, levels some criticism against the Foreign Office and the Home Office for our security procedures. Uh, why on earth has this man been able to get away with what he has been alleged to do? And uh, are our vetting procedures in our embassies up to scratch. Mm. In saying that, it seems that this wasn't kind of a, a sudden snatch, if you like, a sudden arrest, that there had been a, a prolonged investigation. They've been watching this guy essentially for a period of time. As far as we understand it, that seems to be the case. This has obviously been an international effort. There have been uh, two agencies working on this, one in the UK and one in Germany. And uh, given that sort of level of cooperation, we'd expect this to be going on for some time. We know that his house has now been searched as well, this man. Uh, we don't know much about him. We know that he's 57 years old and he's being referred to as David S., uh, that's, that's just about all of the information that we have other than he was working in the British Embassy. And the Germans seem very confident that he sold information to the Russian Secret Services. Sounds like something out of the, out of the um, spy, novel. spy novel or the Cold War almost. Mm. Um, do we know, so who, where did the first suspicions come from? Do we know that? Was it raised by authorities in Germany or did, was it the British Embassy that was concerned about what this man was allegedly doing? So we don't know that. What we do know is that the German... Uh, public prosecutor were the first out of the door with this statement. So I would imagine, given that they were the first to release this information, it would have been a German-led operation. Of course, it happened in Berlin. Mm. This is the British Embassy, but in Berlin. So uh, potentially this is uh, worries that have been raised by the Germans contacting the Brits. There's still that level of international cooperation that has been very crucial, obviously, in this investigation. But still, many, many questions, and I'm sure this is a story mm. that will roll on, because as, as we see, we, we've just got a couple of statements out this morning. They came out this morning, um, only been out for a couple of hours now. I'm sure there will be more that is divulged later on, and some mm. serious questions asked of the Russians. Of course, the Russians uh, have had a lot of their di diplomats and spies expelled from mm the United mm. Kingdom in recent years. The Russian ambassador has been summoned to the Foreign Office on a number of occasions. I wonder if that might be something uh, that, that could go on in the coming days. This mm. is clearly another heightening of those tensions that we've seen grow and grow between the UK and Russia in recent years. Interestingly, Germany has a less acrimonious relationship with Russia. They rely mm. on Russia a lot for oil. They rely on Russia for gas. So it'll be interesting to see whether this changes uh, their relationship with the Russians as well.